trustees who I think are all here this evening. I want to thank you all for coming. This event gets bigger and better every year thanks to everyone who helps make this the most wonderful time of the year in Mount Prospect. First, let's give another huge round of applause to the Prospect Madrigals. <laughs> Not only have they graced us with their music, but the weather was so conducive to them wearing their beautiful royal madrigal robes. So thank you for adding to the, the spirit of the season and the festivities of the evening. I, we're just so honored to have you here every year. I also want to thank a whole bunch of other people who make this night so special. Our Lions Club warms us up with their hot chocolate and cookies. Thank you so much for what you do. The Special Events Commission sets up our Chris Kindle Market in the community room. And uh, we want you to take advantage of the opportunity to see our crafters and vendors there. They'll be there till 7. And we hope that you'll check out their booths before you leave tonight. We also have a brand new amazing opportunity this year. Lace up some skates and skate around the Northwest Lights Ice Arena. It's just across the street down at the end of the Bussy Block. You are going to have a fabulous, fabulous time. And we're thankful to the Mount Prospect Ice Arena and all of the sponsors who are making that skating opportunity available to our community between now and March. And of course, the centerpiece of tonight is our tree. Oh, yeah. It is a perfect tree this year. I don't think they had to do any special trimming. And um, this beautiful tree is a 30-foot blue spruce. It was donated by one of our residents, Ms. Nikki D'Angelo. And we also want to thank the uh, Homer Tree Service for the generous services they provided of cutting down the tree and moving it and getting it erected on this beautiful site. We also want to thank our Public Works Department who artfully decorated the, the tree. And with their creativity, they really made sure that we're continuing with our centennial celebration with our purple lights. And you're going to see the beautiful purple tree again this year. We hope it brings joy and a lot of great photo opportunities for you and your family during this holiday season. I want to thank you all for embracing this celebration as a part of your holiday tradition. And now, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Ms. Nikki D'Angelo, who donated the tree. I have a special presentation for her, and she will be accompanied by her neighbor, Sam, and by the family of one of our Public Works employees, Mr. Victor Pierce. Victor does the amazing planters that you see around town. So, Ms. D'Angelo, Sam, and the Pierce family, please join me. Angelo, I'd like to present you with this commemorative ornament for your Christmas tree at home. It's actually made by a member of our Special Events Commission, 
and it's a little tree that commemorates your participation here and it has your name on it. Okay, what we're going to do is all of these folks are going to help throw this candy cane switch here and magically the tree will light and then we're going to follow that with some additional carols from the madrigal singers. So uh, please uh, make sure you stick around to hear those carols. So all of the tree turner honor folks, let's get arranged behind this candy cane. Do I walk up? Do I walk up? So we're gonna do one, two, three, yes. like yes. that tree. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's go. One, two, three, like that tree. talent in our village and that staff really just lets it blossom so thank you all for joining us this night before Thanksgiving